Okay, fellas, look, I've got up. I've got stunning news. Great news. Ayas is gone. I know. It's a great day. A great day for the club. Great day for me personally. Hello? Real Madrid, what do you want? Oh, no. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to your run on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 7, Episode 8. Today we will conclude our Europa League league phase at home to Braga, then away to Lille. And there was a little bit to catch you up on. The good news is Ayasa has left. The bad news is that we haven't really replaced him, but also... Uh, the Tossage secret is out. Now, you may or may not remember there is a 4.8 million release fee in his contract. He is not willing to negotiate a new one. And Real Madrid, particularly at uh, 4.5 million, are getting very, very close to it. Now, 40% of the profit from the next sale, and maybe in hindsight should have agreed to that. I'm trying to get 50% of the next sale. Um... But, yeah, I mean, we don't want to lose Toshic. That goes without saying. He is a wonder kid after all. Uh, valued it up to $9 million, But that release fee is there. There's not much we can do about it. And we just need to try and make sure our cash-in comes on the potentially the next sale rather than this one. But uh, there is, of course, a risk as a wonder kid that he could go to, say, Real Madrid and just never leave. So, um, yeah, that's, that's slightly problematic. But, uh, like I say, we did move Ayasa on. So he has gone to Lorient for 2.7 million with a 50% sell-on, and uh, we paid 1.9 for him, I think. So in the end, or 1.6. So in the end, we've made 1.1 million. Uh, he has he's conceded far too many goals, and uh, I'm not disappointed he's gone at all. He should have been better, shouldn't he? He really should have, but he wasn't, and we did what we had to do, really, didn't we? Now, we have made a signing for uh, the end of the season. That is uh, Peyo uh, Sivakovic, this guy. Uh, he is a promising midfielder. He's young. He's only 18. He's currently at AC Milan's uh, academy. And he, there's a little bit to like about him. It is a little bit of a just, just a, a punt to see if it comes off for us. But he's got good passing, good technique, heading a first toucher or decent determination. There should be a useful player in there, and you know he's a free transfer at the end of the day, at the end of his contract. If it comes off, great. If it doesn't, then like I say, we'll, we'll sell him on and and we'll go from there. But uh, the promising, I always think promising midfielders, if you get or any promising any position, if you get them in for free, particularly, there's no there's no real harm. Um, so we'll just see what we get when he gets here. But that's the one for next season. Uh, two players that are currently arrived though. Are those that we already knew are coming. So Hugo Torres for 2.8 million has uh, has arrived. Very, very good. Potentially a right back. And uh, he's already a good right back, to be fair. So he comes in. He will share that role now with Antwi, who's done a lot better than I thought he was going to do. Uh, so that's right back more or less nailed down for us. And the other one is the goalkeeper that we signed for 69k. Uh, you can see already he's worth way more than that. If he if he comes off for us, why did that go away there? If he comes off for us, brilliant. If he doesn't, then we'll sell him on. Um, it wasn't. I wouldn't say a panic signing, but it was more. It was a signing of uh, well, Ayasa is likely to be leaving. He has actually left now, so we just need to get some quality goalkeepers in. Unambitious is okay if his current ability is okay, which. It kind of is. We wouldn't want him in Europe, but he'd probably do a job for us in the league if we needed him to. So that is just about everything caught up with on the transfers. We did get an add-on for Pembele as well, so we've got that full seven million. So we've still got eleven million to spend the wages. I asked it was on big money, so that that has uh, lowered that. And um, yeah, so we, we do have money to spend if we need to. We'll keep looking out. Oh, transfer windows only just opened, so plenty of uh, plenty of time for us to get something done if we need to. However, uh, the Europa League squad has closed now for the last two group games. I forgot to just the Yakic, which is a bit of a shame, but Sid holds back, so it's not, not the end of the world. Uh, but anyway, that is uh, that is all of that. Let's go and see what we're doing here against Braga. Now, this is our last home game in the group phase. If we win, we'll go very close, I would imagine, to guaranteeing ourselves a top eight finish. We're currently 10th, uh, but you know we're, we're right there. So let's see what we can do. We're expecting this sort of uh, seven at the back and three up front formation from them. And that being the case, we are obviously uh, I'm very tempted, actually, to go with that. Given, no, because they've got seven at the back, don't they? They've got seven at the back. Let's be sensible here. Uh, so it will be Priscilla in goal. We've been able to register him now. Uh, it will be Triantis, Tosic, uh, potentially for the last time, and Williams as our back four. Torres makes his debut. He goes down the right. Uh, Della Vabora down the left. I'm looking here. Sithole's got a heavy match load, so we might 
in that case, just bring uh, Bozniak in uh, uh, next to Kakavenga. Skoko, Akbarsley, and Vizentin will be the rest of the team. Uh, we have played some friendlies to try and get match sharpness up, which has more or less been a success. Uh, so let's get out there. All right, so we can see the uh, the team sheets there. I don't recognize anybody there. I don't think Bruno Almeida sounds kind of familiar. That might just be from a scouting report, potentially. Uh, what do we want to see? A home form is important to us. I can get on board with that. And um, yeah, as I said, last home game. So we do want to try and win it if we can. Uh, away to Lille is going to be a tough game for us, if I'm honest. Uh, but... You know, we've got a draw against Nantes. They were right up there in the league table as well. So hopefully we can uh, we can see things through. And they've come out. That's a little differently to what we are expecting, wasn't it? Uh, so the scouts are useless. <laughs> I wonder if we do stick in. No, we'll, we'll stick with what we've got here. But I'm wondering a DM if it might be sensible. Particularly, perhaps, if we find ourselves in front. Um, if Tosic leads... I don't want to say we're, we're screwed, but it certainly hurts. Um, we will have that money to reinvest, obviously. Uh, and we do have a lot of young, promising centre-backs. Is it one where we just try and get through with what we have to give uh, the extra game time to our young centre-backs that are coming through? And they are very, like, potentially four or five-star players. So they are potentially very, very good. Um, yeah, there's a big part of me that thinks maybe... We do look to, to just do that. Uh, they should all be turning 17 in, uh, in the next few months, which would help as Skoko kind of wins it back and then gives it back to them again. So, uh, Williams, where are you going, man? Torres has done well, actually, to drop back in. Where it's a bit of fluid defending, but we've done, to be fair, kind of well to recover from that. Now, is the highlight going to continue here? It is saved by Priscilla. And that is that. Uh, we will look to sign another goalkeeper if one comes up. Oh, it's going to be pinched by Visington. Visington gives it to Akbarsley. Akbarsley to Williams. To Tosic. Go across to Triantis. We go forward to Bozniak. I wonder, actually, if we need to use the width a bit more. Here we go with Torres. Our first look at him as a Yerun player. And what a cross it is. And Visington nods at home. But the whip on that cross from Torres. I'll make sure he doesn't ever release Feeney's contract. That was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? We played well through the middle. We did suck them in. We looked for the overlap. And that cross, that is delicious, would be uh, something you'd expect the commentator to say, wouldn't you? Absolutely brilliant. And we've come straight back. Of course we have. It's too late to tell them to focus now. Let's hope we don't go and give that goal straight back to them. Bosniak getting involved. Nice to see. Here we go now with Torres again. Back to Williams. It's such a shame if we do lose Tossack because I feel like with him and Torres, that's two young guys that we could really look long term to say, you know, these guys are here till the end kind of thing. Um, obviously, if we lose Tossack, then that's, or Tossic, I should say, then that's not going to happen. Torres with another chance now. He's cut in. It's a good ball to find Della Babora. And how about this for a first appearance of Torres? 10 minutes in, and he's got himself two assists. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Uh, I just saw when Triantis, I think it was Gordy on uh, on Twitter, sent me a thing. I didn't. Apparently, he plays for Hibs in real life. I can't remember if we figured that out or not when we signed him. But he, he I don't know if you guys have seen this. He went. To, I'm assuming it was the game against Rangers because I know Gordy is a Rangers fan. Um, and he he took a free kick into one Hibs player in the back of the head. It rebounded back and hit another guy. In the forehead. It's honestly, it's like Benny Hill stuff. It's 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 almost too funny to be true. So, uh, yeah, that was quality. Thanks for that, mate. Really enjoyed that. Um, but, yeah, it was uh, it was good. Hopefully we don't see him doing that for us. Now, here we go with Visenton. Delabor is trying to get on his outside, but Visenton was in, intent on outrunning him. Oh, it's, it was a brilliant pass from Skoko, and Visenton's finish. He just rushed it. It was potentially very, very nice. I think I just saw we're up to fifth in the table there, and obviously that's going to be a moving, a moving target as scores come in. Um... But yeah, if we're fifth, that would be uh, that would be nice. You may have noticed that Dynamo scored. It was that uh, Edward that plays for Crystal Palace in real life. I think he was at Celtic, was it before that? He was definitely in Scotland. I'm fairly sure it was Celtic. Skoko to Akbarsley. Visenton's in this time. Did he stay onside? Usually when he scores, he's offside. And it was close. My first instinct was maybe just on. Yes, and it was just on. So it's 3-0. 
And we are ripping Braga to pieces. Why would you want to leave this Real Madrid Tosic? I wonder if Dabo is the one that... It's a really good finish for Bidner, but I wonder if Dabo is the one that's played him on there. Um, he's he's done well. He's bent his run. It was probably... He's, they're probably both playing him on, to be fair. And then uh, buries the finish. Excellent work. Uh, we have Oziak in the league before, uh, between the two games. Uh, there is just a week. We play this Thursday, then next Thursday in game is the Lil game. So... Um, I don't know that I'll be resting players necessarily because I think what we'll try and do is play a completely different team as Kakavenga tries to get his latest European goal of the season contender in. Uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just do a complete rotation and uh, change up the, the 10 outfield players. And uh, yeah, go against Oziak in the league who are struggling. But equally, we don't want to we don't want to take them lightly because we need to be we need to be winning as many games as we can. Uh, Busley has a chance. It was uh, bravely blocked. Here we go now with Torres coming forward. Gets it wide for Williams. Not really where we want a centre back in possession. Tosic to Williams. Williams to uh, Busley. Bosniak. I think Vincenton might be offside this time. It doesn't matter anyway because he's deposited it into the fans. So. Can we get to half time with a 3 0 lead? It would be very, very nice if we could. And indeed, it does look like we can. So we'll take that, won't we? No goals conceded. Amazing what happens when Ayasa leaves, isn't it? Let me know what you think of that. I just. It was at the point where I. Just as a. Like a. On a human level, I didn't like him anymore. Like he was. He was actually annoying, him, annoying me. And I, I feel like I gave him a chance. I dropped him, I bought him back, I dropped him again, I bought him back, and he, oh, it's another cracking cross, and second time of asking, Vicenton sticks it away. And we've started right where we left off. It is 4-0, 40 odd seconds into the second half. And I'm, I almost want to check Torres' contract now to make sure, because it was, a, it was a little while ago now that I offered him the, the deal. I know it was only sort of recently that he arrived, but... It's one that's been in the in the offering for uh, so, you know, the offer was accepted a little while ago. Um, let's just do it now, so I 100% don't forget. There is a release fee for foreign clubs. Okay, so we'll need to offer him a new contract. Um, it's unfortunate because I think it's partly the size of club that we are. It's partly the league that we're in as well. It's a non-negotiable thing. The 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 minimum release fee. Which, from their point of view, is absolutely fair enough. I don't necessarily blame them. It's frustrating, obviously. But if you're looking at it from their point of view, we are, we're we not their end destination, are we? The, the Croatian League is a selling league, and they just want to make sure that they're leaving for what they deem to be a fair price. Now, I still feel like 4.8 was very low for Tosic, but it was better to have that. It was still less, uh, more than we paid for him, sorry. is Akbarsley with a chance now. He can't quite get over the top of the head up. Uh, you'll notice that Phillips back on the bench. He's fit again, so that's a big bonus for us. Uh, Matanovic has signed a contract extension. And that was uh, not the greatest touch, but we got away with it. Uh, so Matanovic is here. I think it was a four-year deal. I really wanted to tie him down because he's got he's got a really good jumping reach. So he's a good uh, he's a good option as like a plan B as well to to whip crosses into. So uh, he's here for the long term now, as that is just over. Uh, what we might do, Kakavenga can come off. He's not having his greatest game. We'll get Ormarkic on, who's not featured too much lately. We did get a bid for him from Lokomotiva. Uh, I don't want to sell him because he's club trained and we are we are struggling. We still only can register 21 players in the European squad uh, because we don't have... I mean, we've got club trained players, but they're under 21, so we don't have to register them anyway. As Akbarsley gets played in and we probably rather visit and go on with that because we know Akbarsley... For all his uh, all his pros, finishing is very much a con. Although we are still trying to work on it with him, and and hopefully he'll continue to improve. And I mean, Sakaji must be getting annoyed. It's probably the second or third time we've brought uh, Priscilla in to be <laughs> to be the number one ahead of him, even though uh, Sakaji's been here the whole time. Uh, I do think Sakaji. Oh, well, I don't know if it's him or the new Spanish guy Torres floats another cross in. Della Bora is there. Can he pull it back? Or Mark oh, Vicenton on a hat trick, not quite. Back to Villa de Bora. He has a go, and that was not the greatest attempt, although possibly on his right foot, wouldn't it be? So maybe there's an excuse there for him. But 23 shots we've had, nine on target, four in the back of the net. 
I think we can say that's been a raging success. I don't know if Skoko got a bit of an injury at the, right at the end there, but uh, yeah, that's been a very, very good performance from us. And hopefully it's guaranteed us top eight. Uh, so it has not done that. We're one of uh, many teams on 16 points. So we're going to have to go to Lil. We're going to have to at least get a point. When you look at the amount of teams that are there on, I mean, Lil's there on 14 points as well. So uh, we're going to have to go and win in Lil, I say, if we're going to, um, yeah, going to get top eight secured. But it's good news for the league that Dynamo's right up there as well because, uh, yeah, that's, as I said, that's going to help with the league coefficient. So another half a mil in the bank. Uh, oh, he did get a hat trick. I missed that for Vizenton. So well done to him. And uh, let's hope he can keep going on with that. Brilliant stuff. All right, I'll play through Ozziak and then we'll be back for our trip to Lille. All right, welcome back. Now, we are at January 31st, which, of course, means that uh, the transfer window is closing very shortly. Now, we have had a very, very close call on Tosic. RB Leipzig triggered his release fee, but it fell through because they couldn't complete the paperwork by the end of the transfer window. So thankfully, Germany's, uh, I'm assuming, closes at five. And um, yeah, so that's that. We had actually accepted a bid for Manchester City for less than, his, um, than the fee, plus a 50% sell-on. Uh, I now cancelled that. Should I have let that go through? Potentially, it could cost us money down the line, but I just keep tossage if we can um so yeah that looks like it's uh it's going to be okay for us for now anyway i uh, know there's one game to catch you up on of course that was in the league against oziak so let's go see what happened we went ahead when palumbo crossed for hamache but oziak hit us on the break to draw level before Phillips shot hit the bar and fell for hamache to restore our lead so a good performance. I'd say we did deserve to win. We had uh, way, way more shots. Uh, we had, uh, obviously, we had a higher XG. We, we always do. But we did have 66% possession. It felt like a game we should have won. Uh, but maybe not... 2-1 was probably fair, to be honest. So there we go. That was that. Now, a bit of a surprise, though, was that Hajuk split went and beat Dynamo away from home for uh, for Dynamo. So, you know, at, at Hajuk. But still, um, I mean, we're not going to win the league. That's not why I'm saying this. But... Uh, Big result for us against Oziak for them, though, wasn't it? Because uh, it takes Hajuk off the bottom. And uh, Bordeaux and Locomotive are still right there, as is Varys. And it's very much a league of, are you Europe or are you fighting to stay in the league? And uh, thankfully, we're the right side of that battle right now. But let's see what we're doing here against uh, against Lil. Now, we are 6th. They are 12th. As we saw, we need to win realistically to get ourselves into that top 8. A draw is not going to cut it. Now, I took Dekic out of the European squad to get Jakic in. Uh, so we'll just swap that like for like. Um, Jakic was very much upset at not being uh, not being registered. So that is fine. So it is uh, Priscilla in goal. Triantis, Tosic, and Williams is the back three. Torres and Della Vabora. Uh, the other way, Torres does have a release fee. We discovered that, didn't we? I think I did that on camera. So we'll try and uh, offer him a new deal. Uh, it's, it's over 5 million, so it's not the smallest fee. Uh, Sithole and Kakavenga in midfield. Skoko, Akbarsley, and Vizinton will be the rest of the team. Okay, so team sheets. Lenny Yoro is a name that sounds familiar for some reason. I must... I don't know why that sounds familiar. Um, nobody else there, though, I don't think is jumping out at me. Uh, it probably is one or two names, if I thought about it, that are familiar. Uh, we are away from home, so let's say that there is no real pressure on you here. Just go out there and, uh, yeah, take your chances. If we can get another draw, I think we'll be quite happy with that. Is it going to be enough to get us top eight? Possibly not, to be honest. But Lil are a, are a good side. They've taken or certainly given gains to sort of. I think Manchester United struggled to beat them. I can't remember if it was a draw or if it was a close one. Um, so you know, this is a this is a very very tough game for us, and hopefully we can take something from it. I did toy with the idea of uh, being more defensive and having uh, Sit Holt back in his usual DM spot and uh, Skoko a little bit further back, or perhaps not Skoko, somebody else. Uh, it's always... It's one of those, isn't it? If we start like that, keep it tight, and then if you fall behind, you have somewhere to go that's more attacking. Uh, if you start off attacking and fall behind, then obviously you're chasing the game from then on. But uh, we'll trust this to go and do it. Nice. Well, I tell you what, Torres massively impressing me so far. As uh, that's not the best uh, ball that uh, the defender's done there, but we give it away anyway. And suddenly we are defending in the highlight that looks like we might be attacking in. 
Come on, boys. Oh, he's just opened up the middle of the park for him. And... Well, you've got to say, it's a decent, it's a decent strike. But the, the, we were like Moses, wasn't he? He just parted us straight through the middle. And um, oh, Priscilla's got to do better. It's a long way out, and it's not in the corner of the net, is it? That's uh, I'm going to put that one on Priscilla as much as anything. Uh, let's tell us to fire up. So that goal has dropped us to ninth. So we are going to need at least a draw. Uh, of course, the team that's just ahead of us is Lil, so that uh, sort of confirms that for us. Um, aggressive. Uh, come on, boys. Just, just no pressure. Just relax. Just relax. There we go. Uh, we're not in this game, though. So let's lower our tempo down. Maybe away from home. That's a decent thing to do anyway. Uh, let's try maybe entrap them on the outside so they don't walk straight through the middle of us. And let's see what this gets us. It's got us a highlight. Is it a good one or a bad one, though? We're about to find out. Oh, decent pressure there, but again, we look a man short through the middle, don't we? Oh, I tell you what. They're pretty good in front of goal, aren't they? I think if we've seen one thing here, we need somebody else in midfield. I think Skoko needs to drop in. Um... Oh, it's a cracking goal. Who is that guy? It's his second goal, isn't it? Didn't he get the first one as well? Uh, oh, no. He got the assist on the first one. So he's quite dangerous. He's playing as the advanced playmaker. I think we're a man short in, in the middle of the park. So let's drop Skoko back in and maybe go with uh, go with a three. Uh, so that, that might be okay. And... Well, there's not much else we can do at this point anyway. 2-0 down when we need to... We need to win. I mean, the higher up we finish is, is better, of course. So we don't want to we don't want to blow the goal difference here. But I tell you what, we're in absolute shambles is what we are right now. Let's berate them. And yeah, something's gone wrong because we are uh, we're nervous, we're anxious, and we're three 0 down. So as good as Braga was, um, I expected Lil to be good. I didn't expect them to put us to a sword like this. So that's fired us up. Can we go and get one back? I mean, it's only not even half an hour gone yet. So there's still plenty of time. Triantis to Tosic. Back to Triantis to Sithole. Sithole has a go! And the goalkeeper makes a save. And is that the difference? Uh, we are still looking for a goalkeeper. Um, it's one of those right now. It's, it's going to be a process to try and find somebody that is good enough for us. And, I mean, Priscilla, not so much today, obviously, but he has been fairly solid. Um, let's try a focus. But we've been poor. We've had no possession, which is usually the one thing for us we can rely on. Um, Angle, Angle, uh, he was a, he was a Manchester United uh, youngster, wasn't he? I think. As uh, Barach, I wonder if we go and just stand somebody on him. Just put Sithole to go and man mark. Oh, the Sithole's marking is not the best, is it? I think I remember saying that when I was trying him as a centre back. So that's been absolutely terrible. We've got faith in you though, though maybe not in all of you. Uh, what do we do here? Let's start off the second half and see what happens. Let's encourage us. Um, looks like we've got a free kick. Let's, uh, let's play at a higher tempo. Sit hole over it. Can he pick out a head? No, he can't. And what happens from here? Is that, uh, the high, almost, I mean, it's almost certainly not the highlight. Can we win that? We can. Skoko does well, then gives it away. We win it back, though. Akbar's leak, and he thread a ball through. It's Villa de Bora. It's in the middle for Vicenturn! And we do get a goal back early in the second half. It's 3-1. Now, is it too little too late is going to be the big question. But uh, Basley to Villa de la Bora, and he pulls it back in front of goal. And Visington is getting decent, isn't he, at putting those chances away for us now. And staying on side, which is uh, 
not what he's always done. We've got work to do now at the other end. Oh, Priscilla, I tell you what, safe. Didn't even put his body, just bang. Now, was that not the highlight? Priscilla goes long. Akbarsley's there. We know he's decent in the air, but he can't find Kakavenga, who's not having... Skoko's not having a great game either, to be fair to him. So let's take Skoko off for Palumbo. Here we go now with Akbarsley. Akbarsley to Torres. Can he whip in one of his uh, trademark crosses? No, Williams. What's Williams doing up there? Here we go with Torres again. Torres! Hugo Torres with his first for the club. And suddenly, in seven uh, second half minutes, we've scored twice. It's 3-2. And the top eight's back on again. What is Williams? I mean, I know he's a wide centre-back, but he's ahead of Sidhoff. It's, a, it's, uh, it's taken a massive deflection. So Torres has got lucky, but we'll take it. It's his first goal for the club. And we'll, yeah, we'll keep going. Triantis now to Palumbo. All the way back we go to Priscilla. Williams uses Torres. Akbazli's in front of him. We go to Palumbo instead. Palumbo to Akbazli. To Fizzinton. Oh, it's the crossbar. Was he offside anyway? All right. Uh, let's just keep encouraging. And... Do we want to make any other changes? Kakavenga not having a great game. So let's get on Siraj for him. And we've got a corner to defend. Bararenkchio, whatever his name is, takes it again. I mean, he's been the difference between the two sides, hasn't he? Hopefully he's not going to go and get himself a hat trick. It's cleared away, but still little have it. And can we pressure them into a mistake here? And go up the other end. It's another effort. It was a goal kick crossbar. And we seem to have just lost a little bit of our momentum, don't we? I wonder if we've made one change too many. Oh, there we go. Torres has picked that up. Torres has picked that up. It's Palumbo. It's Bosley. It's Siraj. It's Siraj. It's off the crossbar again. It's still there for us, though, with Torres. Torres just kind of gives it away. Um... I think we just got to keep going. Let's try and demand more. Uh, all right, let's take Ak Bosley off for Matenovic. Sit hole. Do we have Bosniak on yet? Uh, did I put Bosniak on? I didn't. So let's make that change. Bosniak, of course, more of a ball playing uh, midfielder. That looked like a handball, was it? Siraj down for Visentin. Visentin has got Ak Bosley with him. Back to Visentin again. Look at Hugo. It's out to Hugo. Hugo, can he play it back across? Oh, it's just a bad touch at the wrong time. Or was it a blocked cross, perhaps? And here... It's a cracking game all of a sudden, isn't it? And here come Lil back the other way. Can we win it back? Not quite. We'll give us some encouragement when we can. When we can. We've got a goal kick. Tossage to Williams. Williams to Palumbo, back to Tosic. Siraj is in space. Siraj, can he play a ball through? We go wide for Villa Bora. It's a goal! Palumbo, the goal, the subs got me. I thought it was a goal. The <laughs> subs popped up. Palumbo with the corner. Ten minutes to play. Can we get level? It's a floated one to the back post. It's over everybody. And that is that. Well, we'll wait and see what happens with this highlight first. Triantis now on the ball. Gets it wide for Della Vibora. Palumbo through the middle. Palumbo for Matanovic for Hugo Torres. Can Hugo get a cross in? He's done oh, almost. Bosniak. Bosniak back for Williams. Williams back to Torres. In there for Palumbo. And we've done it. Martin Palumbo is sixth of the season. And it is 3-3. Three, three. After being 3-0 down. And let's be honest, completely outplayed. Maybe for once I've made a tactical change that's worked. I'm sure we're going to stuff this up because that's what we do. It's another deflection. Look, like it came off Matanovic's heel, actually. But uh, I don't care about deflections. We'll take it. We told them to focus. And it is uh, the proverbial game of two halves. As it stands, it's not enough. We need to win it. We need to win it. Can we complete what would be an epic comeback? It'll be up there with anything on this channel so far. Torres, ah, oh, just couldn't quite 
Oh, no, don't get caught out the back. This is the sort of thing we used to do, or usually do, I should say. Oh, it's a block by Triantas, and Palumbo's going the other way now. Oh, and the backtracking defender cuts it out. We're currently ninth. We're ninth. Can something happen to get us into that top eight and a bye into the round of 16? The cross comes in. It's a load at the back post, and it's over, and Torres maybe just falling asleep for a second, and that is that. Well, what a game of football that has been. 3-0 down at halftime. It gets back to 3-3. Look at that chance they had at the end there. And I don't think it's enough. I think it's uh, it's put us in ninth. But that was that was a game, wasn't it? And indeed, we are a point short in the end. We did need to win it. We will be seeded for the next uh, for the draw, though. So that is something. But it would have been a very very nice one to uh, to get into that top eight, wouldn't it? But in the Europa League, to get ninth in the league phase, I think we can be quite proud of that. So youthful Jeroen draw with Lil. Uh, teams uh, secure their playoff spots. We've got a little bit of money and then a little bit more money as well. And uh, that is none of our business. Uh, now, one thing I did want to quickly show you is I keep going about these young center backs we have. Let's have a look at them. So the first one, we've seen him before. We know about him, uh, Kale Besanak. Uh, he goes in and out of being a promising defender and not. But uh, yeah, he's training on nicely. He's 17 now, so he's available for European games as well. So he's one of them. Next up is this guy, uh, Turninsky. I do not say that first name. Surten or something, maybe. But again, another promising centre-back. He's 16, uh, 17, it looks like. It's at the first of... Uh, of the third or the third of the first i can never remember which way it goes but uh, again very very promising not quite as uh highly rated potential ability star wise but i think he's going to be uh, he's going to be very very good anyway and this is the third one who potentially could be the best of all of them uh nanad uh Skolaba. he is again a promising uh promising center back very very highly rated and training up a storm as well so those are the three guys we have which makes me think if we were to lose Tosic, do we perhaps just let it, not let it happen, we'll try and keep him, but do we not sign a replacement? Do we trust these three to come in and uh, and make up that game time? And a big part of me says, yes, that's what we need to do. But anyway, that will do it for that. We will be back next time. The draw is actually after this Gorica game for the for the next for the knockout round. So what we'll do is we'll come back for that first knockout round and we'll see how the first leg goes. Um, but yeah, I'll, if you're not yet uh, on either the Facebook, the Twitter, or the Discord, I'll post the the round of or the first knockout round. Is that whatever round it is? I'll post that once we have it, uh, so you'll be able to see. And if not, it'll be a surprise for you when you get here next time. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.